Hey, uh, hey. I'm Saurabh. Hi, my name is Saurabh too. I'm Don't from Nepal. I'm from India. Could you tell a little bit about the restaurant? Sure, it's a restaurant started around almost four years ago. So that started by a um, celebrity chef. His name is Mike and he's a partner. So both start, that's how the name comes, boy and bird. So one male and one female. Ah. Yeah. Okay, so could you tell us a little bit about your signature dish? Sure, definitely. We are basically chicken kitchen. So the more dishes are from chicken and our signature dish is the rotisserie chicken. Oh, this wow. Is, this is what, which we call our bird. So what, what is the rotisserie chicken? What it is actually um, chicken which is cooked by a um, rotisserie machine. So it's like chicken, they brine overnight, then they steam it and they cook it and then they put herbs and seasoning on top oh and God. that's how they make it prepare and then they put it in our rotisserie machine. Okay. It's quite a long procedure which is a really healthy and a good chicken. Okay. So what kind of cuisine is Boy & Bird? Um, it's all New Zealand based food. We have all the nice salads like epic chicken Caesar salad, kale salad and a hot bird salad. So these all our foods are New Zealand based. All the taste flavours are on a New Zealand base. Wow. That's awesome. It is. Enjoy. Can you go for it? I have no idea. Like, I don't know. I want to actually try this soda yeah, try. first. Yeah, try. What's yours again? Mine is rhubarb and berry. What okay. about yours? I got the lemon and honey one. That's right. Well, I just didn't want to go for anything that's uh, pink. Mm, that's <clears> awesome. Oh my god. Mm. It's so good. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> Make it here, right? Yeah, it's homemade soda. Okay. Yeah. It tastes Sweet. really good. I'm oh, sorry, yeah. I'm going to have another one. Mm, I guess it's halloumi. What's have you tried? No. It was the first time I have seen this kind of cheese. Um, so it's really common in New Zealand. This I haven't tried before in Brazil. It's really okay. good. I really like this one. Just this yellow one. Yeah. So that's the cheese? Yeah, okay. it's called halloumi. Halloumi? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't really know what, but I'm <laughs> sure it, well, it looks awesome. Like yeah. Another sip of this soda. Mmm, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's one of the best chicken that I've ever had. In my life. That's why they are famous. Yeah, we have something like this back home actually. These potatoes that are just coated in spice. Yeah, something like that. Mmm, that's delicious. This gravy makes a difference. I love the food here already. Mm -hmm. I know, Oh, that's good. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Perfect. Yeah, the cheese really, like, it's got like a beautiful flavor to mm -hmm. it. What's this cheese made of? Like halloumi, or do you happen to know like milk is used? <laughs> I forgot. Goat cheese? Mm, this cheese. It tastes great. But like, every time you chew on it, there's like a mushy, squishy bite to it. It's not just me, right? <laughs> no. But, and I was so scared about New Zealand food. I was like, uh, maybe I'll not like everything there. But when I came here, like, I was really surprised. Okay. Because I, I, I do can find any kind of food yeah. in here, even Brazilian food. But here's the thing though, right? Like, every corner you go, there's like something, something different. different. To try. Yeah. So there's, there's like a lot of diversity. So I'm from Nepal, right? So our kind of food is kind of influenced by the Chinese style and the uh -huh. Indian style. And here I find them both. I'm obviously like I just go around and I try something like like Japanese food, say yeah, like, Korean food. I can go do that. <laughs> what if I miss the food back home? But yeah, I've been here no, for a it while. It hasn't happened here. It has not happened <laughs> we, so far. We can... it, it really has not happened so far. So, so what are you doing here? Are you studying? Yes, I am studying. I'm studying Master of Energy. Mm. So postgrad student, I've been here for a while, five months around. Yeah, having fun so far, just studying. What about you? I'm studying business, yeah. Wow, or, business. Yeah, just like a one-year course. I'm just about to finish. Okay. Yeah, and I like it. I do like it. For me, that's the best part here. Mm -hmm. Like, I like studying, but I do like to know people from every yeah. country, everywhere. It's really cool. Come from the land of Mount Everest. Yeah, I know. And you? <laughs> I'm from Brazil. Okay, cool. I'm from Salvador. Because I have classmates from Nepal, so what? yeah, class, uh, classmates from Nepal, Indonesia, uh, Spain, okay. Argentina. So I know people from many countries. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I've met a few people from Brazil as well. 
yeah, super yeah. passionate about football, <laughs> of course. Yeah. We are. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> talking about football, seven one. No, don't no. No. We don't no. We don't need to remember this. <laughs> so what do you do for fun? I love going out with my friends. Mm -hmm. I do like to go to the hardwood because there are many many options in there. Mm -hmm. They do parties, Latin parties, Brazilian parties. That's why I like it. Okay. Usually they have live bands. What about you? Uh, I just like to walk around. Like there are so many places in the city. Yeah. Like you can just go see stuff, do stuff. There's like something happening always. Like One Tree Hill, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, I know. The okay. Harbor of Oakland Wars. Domain. I love that one. I actually live quite close to the Oakland really? Domain. Really? So yeah, that's that was one of my. That's my favorite. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. My favorite. Part. So nice. <laughs> Um, I actually also play a little bit of football in the rec center uh, that we have at the uni. Yeah, just stuff like that. There's like always something to do. Always, oh, yeah. All right, amazing food at the Boy and Bird. Now we're off to have some ice cream at this place called the Duck Palace. <coughs> Duck Island? Let's go! Chicken, chicken fact. fact! Did you know that an average kiwi consumes around 40 kilos of chicken per year? That's 20 whole chicken in a year? <laughs> There's a poke bar there. I haven't tried poke. Okay. No, I haven't tried it, but <clears throat> poke is like um, Pokemon. <laughs> like rice with some toppings, right? Like salmon. Is it? So you know what, I do like Ponsonby because it's just outside the city center mm -hmm. and here we can find every kind of restaurant and fashion as well, yeah. so many kind of stores. Is it also true that the first food trucks in Auckland started here in Ponsonby? I guess so, yeah. Okay. Oh wow, there it is, Duck yeah. Island. Let's go inside and have some ice cream. Let's go, please. <laughs> can you tell me a little bit about the history of your ice cream shop? Yeah. We're called Duck Island um, and we started around four years ago. We're a Hamilton based company and this store where we are now is our first store out of Hamilton. So which one have you got? So this is actually a full vegan ice cream that I went for this time. Way. So on the bottom it's uh, raspberry, coriander really? and coconut and on the top it's coconut and vanilla. Super different. Super yeah, different. And vegan. It is vegan. It's nice. What about and yours? They have, mine is white chocolate, pomegranate, and macadamia on bottom. Okay. And this one is salted caramel with cocoa crumble. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it's it's so awesome. Good. Really. You know what? I'm from a city that is super, super hot. Mm -hmm. It's like summer the whole year. And we are super used to have ice cream yep. every day, every night. It doesn't matter the weather. So, I have many things to compare, but I haven't tried ever something like this. It's like sweet, but not sweet and a bit salty. And it's really, really nice. I do like it. Tastes like heaven. So what have you got now? All right, so I've got this uh, float. It's also commonly known as a spider here. Really? So on the bottom, you can see soda. And on the top, Ooh. it's ice cream. Dana, yeah. I've never seen that before. Oh, so what's that? What you got over I've there? I've got a sundae full of chocolate <laughs> and nuts on it. Is it vegan? Is it? Yeah, yeah, it is vegan. Okay. Do you want to try it? No, no, I'm going to have my food <laughs> okay. first. So maybe later. <laughs> That's this is, delicious. Uh, That's delicious. Okay, you, you can try mine. You should try mine. I know, It's right? really yum. So yes. It's like a mix of everything. Like yes, when you yes. sip it, right? It's like a explosion of flavors. Yeah, super different. Yeah, okay, I like it. I'm gonna try some of yours. Mm. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. mm. Should have ordered that too. Okay, I'm struggling. <laughs> yeah, I think I should stick with <laughs> sipping for now. Uh, cream, you know? okay. Don't put this on the video, okay? Like seriously. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> Ice cream fact! Did you know that New Zealand is one of the largest consumers of ice cream in the whole world? Yes, in average, one person consumes around 23 liters per year of ice mm. cream. Well, when the ice cream is this good, like who wouldn't, of right? Of course, of course, I understand them. <laughs> So remember, right, like all the ice cream that's being served there is made in this yeah. region uh, just below Auckland called Waikato. Mm -hmm. So the name of the place, the Duck Island, 
Um, so that also comes from this island that's in that region. Mm. So it's, the place has been named after that island. So Duck Island. Oh, he, he, that he said Duck, duck Palace. palace. <laughs> uh, no. No, Duck Palace. <laughs> duck. duck Island, you mean? Yeah. Duck Island, yeah. No, no, no. You said another thing. That was you. <laughs> duck Island, not Duck Palace. <laughs>